In this response paper, I trace the origins of semiotic translation and explain why GS interpretations are theoretically problematic. I also demonstrate that the view of translation endorsed by GIA is untenable from a cognitive perspective, as both perception and action are affordances of the living organisms, and hence are not restricted to the thinking mind within the Lutmanian semiosphere. Finally, since translation is not a special case of semiosis, I show that semiotic processes are not individual signs of the source of all types of translations. In his article, Gia prefaces his theory with some inaccurate claims about semiotic translation. For example, he affirms that the term semiotic translation is grounded on the term semiotics, derived from semiosis by Peirce. While this would look as a genuine counterargument to semiotic translation, a framework introduced in Torres Martinez 2015, the truth is that the origins of my coinage have nothing to do with either Pelk's or Morris's works, authors that, I must admit, I have never read. This use of terms such as ethnic, foreign, or exotic cultures introduces a hegemonic reading of translation semiotics, since cultural values are made to rest on the idea of human centeredness. The salient point is that, though not affiliated directly with Hu's eco translatology, GS hemispheric approach to translation is also permeated by notions of human centeredness, which he conceptualizes in terms of an opposition between the monolithic national culture, that is, the Chinese culture, construed in turn in opposition to its parts, that is, ethnic cultures, and other national cultures, which he terms exotic cultures. In this response paper, I have shown that Gia's interpretation of both Lotman's and Jacobson's ideas needs to be revised. In this sense, Gia's hemispheric translation must expand Lotman's original idea of semiosphere and Jacobson's striatic taxonomy. A such framework needs to include the whole host of biological semiosis, as well as the role of artificial representation as part of the context in which translation can occur.